Hello everyone and praise the Lord. Uh, welcome to the August 29th, 2021 message from World Gospel Mission Church. Before we dive into the main text from Isaiah, I would like to start off with meditation of the week from Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God and Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Today's main text comes from Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1 through 12. Isaiah 6, verse 1 through 12. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of the people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go, and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate, and the Lord have remove, removed men far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of land. Let us pray. Father God, we are here, here in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to hear your word today. 
May the Holy Ghost anoint each and every listener with the spirit of wisdom and understanding of today's word of prophecy. Bless each and every one for them to keep your word in the table of their hearts throughout day and night. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In these last days, we live in a tragic world where truth, justice, and the rule of law cannot be found due to tremendous injustice and corruption that is taking place not only in Israel but all other nations. Looking at this uncorrectable realm, some people sigh, but remain silent and have no idea what wretched things are going to happen in front of them. When we take a look at Korea as well as the United States, we notice the cry of the people who warn the rest of the population as the whole country is becoming and turning into a communistic nation under the unlawful dictatorship as if a boat is sinking in the midst of total corruption in all fields of politics, economy, society, media, and culture. Undeniably, their cry is an empty sound. The words of Isaiah chapter 6 given to us today are when the people of Judah reached a point when they were unable to escape God's judgment. God, the King, the Lord of hosts, appeared with the seraphims to Isaiah in the temple. God ordered him to give an ultimatum against the people of Judah. Once again, Isaiah 6, uh, verse 9 and 10. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Lord, how long? asked Isaiah. And God told him that he had decided to set up Babylon in the north, in advance to judge their sin against God and that he was to use them as an instru instrument of judgment. Also in Isaiah 6, verse 11 and 12, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate and the Lord hath removed men far away and there be a great forsaking in the midst of of the land. When God spoke to prophet Jeremiah, he prophesied that the kingdom of Judah would literally be, it'll be lost of justice and truth, and be of the state, be in the state of unforgivable destruction by Babylon. In Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 1 through 3, run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now and know, and seek in the broad places thereof. If he can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment, and that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. And though they say, O Lord, liveth, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have not, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. The people of the city of Judah were now in an irreversible state. God spoke through Jeremiah about their sins. In Jeremiah 23, verse 9 through 14, he said this, Mine heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, and like a man whom wine hath overcome because of the Lord, and because of the words of his holiness. 
For the land is full of adulterers, for because of swearing the land mourneth, the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane, yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Wherefore their ways shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein, for I will bring evil upon them, even the ear of their visitation, saith the Lord. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people Israel to err. I have seen also the prophets of Jerusalem in horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also in the hands of evil doers that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Since then, History proves that the Israelites were enslaved under the judgment of God by the Medes, Persians, Greeks, and Romans, and the time of the Gentiles began when they were destroyed by Babylon. When Jesus saw the wickedness of the Jews rejecting him, he foretold that when the time is fulfilled and the Antichrist would appear, the Jews shall receive the Antichrist and suffer great troubles in the Great Tribulation. Jesus spoke of this, John chapter 5, verse 43. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Jesus spoke of their unavoidable great tribulation and the times of the Gentiles. Luke chapter 21, verse 20 through 24. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let, and let not them that are in the country sent enter thereinto. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The great tribulation that will occur in the future, first of all, is because of the sin of apostate Israel rejecting Jesus Christ who appeared on this earth to give them a last chance. But by killing them, they shall receive the Antichrist and enter the Great Tribulation. Through the Antichrist and Babylon the Great, written in detail in Revelation chapter 17 and 18, the sins of rebellion against the Lord God and Jesus Christ who appeared in the flesh, whom he spoke many times through the prophets in the Old Testament times, shall be paid terribly. Not only the Jews, but all the Gentile nations who do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and the so-called churches of God that do not practice justice and seek the truth like the Israelites, and deny the only Savior, Jesus Christ, but rather they have united with World Council of Churches, World Evangelical Alliance, and National Council of Churches. These people shall enter the Great Tribulation and will suffer under the rule of Antichrist and the Great Babylon after the church, the chaste bride, has translated to heaven. In the so-called churches of God in Korea and the United States, Christians who profess with their mouths 
quote, the Lord lives in their worship service, but actually perform rituals. They are just like the people of Judah as testified by prophet Jeremiah. They are filled with adulterers. Their hearts are dried up like a dry desert and their deeds are evil without honesty. As the old prophets and the priests were profane, pastors and church members of these last days are profane as well. Unfortunately, our God the Father is watching the wickedness from his house. Apostle James testified of them in James chapter 4 verse 1 through 10. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence even of your lusts that war in your members? Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, ye have, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is en enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain? The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Now all the people of the world, including Korea and the United States, are under a huge conspiracy by the forces of the New World Order, who have been attempting to unite the entire world for a very long time, under the Antichrist, using the principalities and powers, the rulers of darkness of this world, and the evil spirits in high places. We are living in the times and the seasons when the Great Reset which seeks to enslave mankind by so-called elites of the world, which is nearly completed. There is no hope anymore in this world. The dark forces have already taken over all fields of politics, economy, media, and culture of all nations. Even if a small group of people raise their voices and cry for justice, the members of Deep State are laughing and mocking behind the scenes and are fulfilling their agenda one by one. It is horrifying looking at the current situation in the United States and Korea. The time has come when justice and truth cannot be found even if one searches for the truth to such an extent that they do not even blink an eye while openly denying the rigged elections. Therefore, the only hope we must seek is the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13 and 14 Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself, a peculiar people zealous of good works. Jesus will return soon. He will come for his church first, the chaste bride of Christ, before he allows the great tribulation to start on earth. He will then return on his second coming with the church to destroy the unbelieving world. He invites everyone to escape the coming wrath and be with God the Father. Admit you're a sinner for not believing in the blood shed by Jesus. Repent and believe in this gospel how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Pray for wisdom and understanding of the Holy Bible, 
and let Jesus lead you in truth and spirit. Jesus is waiting for you even today. The day of salvation is now and today. God bless.